Joseph Dietrich was a senior member of the Nazi Party and he also served a crucial role as the Waffen SS general of the German military forces. He had valiantly led and succeeded in several wars throughout his career and was often deemed one of the most celebrated military professionals during the Second World War. However, Dietrich's journey didn't start easy. Before his military career, he served as Hitler's personal chauffeur and occasionally he also served the role of a bodyguard. He reached the peak of his career after murdering Fuhrer's political rivals during the iconic Night of the Long Knives. Following the Second World War II, he was imprisoned by the Americans on the charge of murder. He received a similar warrant from Germany, a couple of years later. In this video, we will discuss Dietrich's early life, career, military successes, and more. We will also discuss in detail about his post-war life and death. As always, if you want more videos as this one, help this channel with your likes and comments. Early life and career Dietrich didn't have a prosperous childhood. He was born in May 1892 in the Bavarian part of Germany. His parentage is unknown, and many considered him to be the bastard of Crescentia Dietrich. After she married a coach called Mills, he took the role of Dietrich's stepfather. Right before the war, Dietrich served several odd jobs like hotel assistants, and coachmen among others. Finally, he decided to join the Bavarian military forces in 1911. However, he couldn't serve his role for long and had to leave almost immediately later due to health complications. During World War I, he joined the field artillery forces of the army and served as the driver of the horse. Eventually, he was rewarded for his performance, and six years later he received the coveted Iron Cross. Finally, in 1918 he got the opportunity to join the German tank units and serve as a military officer there. Following the First World War, Dietrich served a brief role in joining the Bavarian forces against the Soviet army until May 1919. However, he changed several jobs and took up several profiles like that of a waiter, laborer, attendant serving the petrol station, and customs professional among others. In 1928 he finally got an opportunity to join the Nazi party. At that time he served in the Verlag department. Later he received some recognition and became the personal bodyguard of Hitler. But even before joining the Nazi party, the primary person to influence him was his previous employer who worked in Munich. Hitler was impressed by his loyalty and performance and arranged several other jobs for him. During Hitler's regime, he served multiple posts in the SS and also got an opportunity to live in the Reich Chancellery. In 1930, he served a short election and was chosen as a primary delegate presiding over the lower Bavarian parts. As the Nazi party continued to evolve, so did Dietrich's hierarchy and posts. Over time, he assumed the role of Hitler's commander and was also made a member of the prestigious State Council of Prussia. Being one of the most loyal guards of Hitler, he would often disregard his superiors including Henrik Himmler. At one point, he even banned Himmler from a specific set of barracks. During the summer of 1934, Dietrich reached the peak of his career by taking a serious role in the Night of Long Knives. According to Hitler's instructions he headed to the Ministry of Justice with six men in an attempt to kill several leaders of the SA. Following his success in the crucial mission, he soon received a promotion but also had to serve a 19-month-month -month court sentence. Role during the World War II At the start of the Second World War, Dietrich valiantly fought many wars in Paris and Dunkirk in 1940. He served the role of the primary campaigns in Greece and after a point Yugoslavia. Finally, he received a promotion to serve the role of the 1st Panzer Corps. Three years later, he visited Italy to retrieve the mistress of Mussolini, who went by the name of Clara Petracci at the time. During this period, he gained several medals and awards from the German military forces. However, he was also known for his cruel and unforgiving treatment of the prison inmates. In the Battle of Normandy, Dietrich served as the commander of the SS Panzer Corps 1st Division. Eventually, he became the commander of the 5th Division of the Panzer Army during the last couple of legs of this iconic campaign. Thanks to his overwhelming success Hitler created a new commander position for him specially designed to serve the Panzer Army in the 6th Division. Between 1944 and 1945 he commanded during the Battle of the Bulge and commanded almost 82 U.S. prison inmates who were killed in Belgium. This was later renamed the Malmedy Massacre. Despite his success in the Nazi Party, Dietrich was soon losing interest in the world leadership of Hitler. It even came to a point when he conspired with Field Marshal Rommel to lead a separate space around the Western Front. During this point, Dietrich was also extremely hostile and he was actively protesting the Fuhrer's distrust of his officers such that the officers could not carry out their approaches or initiatives during the war. He was extremely frank with the Fuhrer and openly shared his views with him. In 1945, Hitler planned yet another iconic event known as the Spring Awakening. 
This was led by the 6th Division Panzer Army of Dietrich who left no stone unturned to wage a groundbreaking war. The first attacks came from Lake Boloton in Hungary but unfortunately, this area also contained some of the last couple of oil reserves that the Germans could still access. Despite being successful during the early stages of the war, Dietrich's army was extremely ambitious about the scope of the mission, and they subsequently failed. Following this, the German forces headed back to stay in Vienna. And Hitler, naturally frustrated, ordered Dietrich to ask him Panzer Army personnel to return all cuff titles. This order disgusted and shamed Dietrich and he did not allow the telegram to reach his teammates. It is also mythically believed that he angrily ripped off his cuff links and sent them back to Hitler. In Vienna, the Panzer Army was cautious to hold the right defensive locations. They wanted to wage a war with the Soviets in the same country and the war happened and was later known as the Vienna Offensive of the Soviets. The event started on 2nd April and Vienna succumbed to German forces when the final German defenders surrounded the city within the next 11 days. Following that event, Dietrich retreated to Austria along with his wife. Military Education Formally, Dietrich did not receive any specific type of military education, and according to several critics, commanding an entire army was far above his usual skill sets. This was also the reason why several German generals didn't view him with respect, including several professionals from the General Staff Department. However, he has always been lauded for his brave military feats and his bravery, tactics, and feats were unquestioned. He led several troops who enjoyed his dark humor and Dietrich was known for assigning the right soldier for the right task. He ensured that only capable officers from his team would handle the several technical elements of the high command. He exercises his command in other areas of the war. Life after war. Life wasn't easy for Dietrich following the war. He was imprisoned by the Americans who tried him as the 11th defendant. The court ordered his life imprisonment due to the atrocities committed during the Malmedy massacre. However, several German officers defended him which caused his stance to shorten to a period of two and a half decades. He served in the first prison cell in America and was later released according to parole within 10 years. However, he was arrested once again in 1956 due to his crucial role in killing several SA personnel during the Night of the Long Knives. However, he was compelled to be released due to an ensuing heart issue and other problems related to blood circulation in his legs. Until that point, he had served the majority of the 19-month trial that was assigned to him. During his last few years, he settled in Ludwigsburg and spent the majority of his time hunting. At this point, it is important to note that the German government didn't provide any type of military pension to Dietrich. When his former colleagues were made aware of his situation, they collected thousands as pension funds and sent them to the commander for his outstanding service. Death Dietrich finally died in 1966 in his favorite city, enjoying his favorite activity, hunting. The cause of his death was attributed to a heart attack and during that time, he was around 73. His funeral was a grand affair and at least 7,000 comrades visited him during this time. To end this video, remember, if you want more videos as this one, help this channel with your likes and comments.